The Featured section on LinkedIn is a great place to showcase your work. And it's also somewhere you can put external links. Links you want profile visitors to click on. Think of your LinkedIn profile as a type of landing page rather than a CV. Well, let's say you get several hundred or even several thousand visitors a month. Not all of those visitors are going to make it down to the Featured section. But those that do are probably interested in you, what you do, your services and how you can help them. And the Featured section is a good place to put links to your newsletter, your Canonly link, your products, your services, and even your own website or other social media channels. So it's pretty easy to customize. Head down to the Featured section, then you're gonna click on the plus, and you have a couple of different options. So first up, you can add one of your LinkedIn posts. So let's say you had a post that did quite well. Perhaps it got good engagement or helped you get some clients. Well, you could feature this on the Featured section on your profile. Or alternatively, if you have a newsletter on LinkedIn, not something I'm currently doing, you can add your newsletter here. Or if you've written an article on LinkedIn, you can also feature it. Now, I tend to use this section more for external links for videos, articles, and websites. And that's what other creators do as well. And I'll show you some examples in a moment. But you simply just click on add link and then put in a link perhaps to your landing page for where you're growing your email list. And I always recommend that you grow an email list even if you're using a social media platform like LinkedIn because you don't want to rely too much on an algo. Or you can put a link to your Calendly or to your booking or your services. Uh, if you have pictures or presentations, you can also upload them. I don't tend to use that as much. And you can also add content uh, from your profile if you have LinkedIn Premium. And in another video, I covered the difference between the basic version of LinkedIn and LinkedIn Premium. But perhaps you, may, you want to feature some honors or awards, some courses or licenses and certifications that you have. Now, there are a few things you should know about the featured section. Firstly, there doesn't seem to be a limit on how many items you can add. However, I found that most creators tend to have between one and three different posts or links or pieces of content here. To be honest, any more than that is just going to be overwhelming for your visitors. The second thing to know is people must have a LinkedIn account to see the featured section. So in other words, if somebody's heading over to Google and searching for your name on LinkedIn and they see the version of LinkedIn that's available on Google, they're not going to be able to see the featured section. Uh, and also, finally, this isn't available for company pages. So this is something you're going to do on your personal page rather than your company page. And if you don't have anything here, then the section will stay hidden. And of course, at any time, you can uh, move things around or delete them. So I'm actually going to just remove this post from the featured section. If you want to, you can also edit the content that you have in your featured section at any time. Just click on the edit button. So I'm currently linking to a type form survey. That's because I work with clients who need help with their content strategy. So rather than just accepting any type of client, I have a couple of questions that I ask people. So I ask them to complete this short survey and if they complete the survey, then I get in touch with them uh, to see if they're a good fit. Now I've looked at some of the other top creators on LinkedIn to see what they're including on the featured section. So here's Dickie Bush. He talks about digital writing and personal progress. And in another video on the channel, I explain how you can get your positioning statement just right for LinkedIn. So check out that video and check out my entire playlist if you wanna master LinkedIn. Anyway, if I scroll down to the featured section, you'll see that Dickie has four different links. And they all go to various different landing pages and the Substack page that he's created. So basically he just wants to get people's email subscribers. So here's one here that teaches you to become a prolific writer. And he has another one about writing online and a ghost writing blueprint as well. Here is John Brazio, who is a creator that I've connected with. Uh, on his featured section, he links out to a product that he's created. Uh, currently the enrollment is closed. So he's just using this to capture emails from people who would potentially be interested in taking part in his next cohort or program. And here is uh, Sam, who is uh, one of the best known LinkedIn creators uh, working on the platform right now. So he has just two items on his LinkedIn featured section. So he has a link uh, to his newsletter, uh, which is actually just, uh, looks like it's just on Substack. Uh, and then he has also a link to a YouTube video that explains how he's built so many LinkedIn followers over the years. Here's another top creator you'll find on LinkedIn, Yasmin Alic. So Yasmin has uh, three items on his featured section. So he has a link to his Calendly. So I did experiment with this for some time and I'll explain why I changed that in a moment. He also has a link to his newsletter and a link to his keynotes and workshops. Now I've talked to some of the top creators on LinkedIn about how to use the featured section. And they've all said to me that less is more. So in other words, even though you can put lots of different items in your featured section, 
you may only want to put three, two, or even one link. Because let's face it, if you're gonna treat it like a landing page, you don't wanna overwhelm visitors with too many different options. You wanna make it clear, crystal clear what the next step is. Particularly if you don't have an account that has hundreds of thousands of followers. The other thing to remember uh, with LinkedIn is that you do have other options on your profile for adding different types of links. So you don't need to double up. So as an example, I'm a LinkedIn premium customer. So this gives me this fancy additional button that links out to my personal newsletter. And I use this to capture email subscribers. So if you want to join my newsletter, just visit briancollins.com or you can visit this URL either. That's Brian with a Y. And I'll send you insights for growing your business through content and also about writing online. But suffice to say, I've included the link to my newsletter at the top of my profile. And I got this extra button because I'm a LinkedIn premium customer. Now I could add this here as well, but that would be overkill. And I don't want to, you know, overwhelm uh, visitors with too many different options, you know, give them a type of analysis paralysis. So I just have one link currently in the featured section on my profile. And I do treat this like a type of landing page. So people aren't clicking on the featured section link. I will swap it out for something else. Remember the featured section is just one part of how you use LinkedIn. I would say it's a nice piece of real estate on your profile if you're getting lots of visitors. But to be honest, the best way to attract the right types of clients and to grow your following is actually by sending connection requests and by publishing content consistently and regularly in or on the platform. And in other videos on the channel, I explain how you should manage the process for connecting with people on LinkedIn and also the types of content that you should create. Because people are far more likely to see your posts in their feed rather than heading over to your profile and going all the way down to the featured section. So don't spend too much time overthinking it. Put a link that showcases your best work or perhaps your newsletter and then move on and get to writing and publishing on the platform consistently. So I hope you found that overview of how the featured section works. As you can see, it's pretty easy. It's a place to showcase your work. It's for LinkedIn users and you can swap it out often. But do remember that there are other ways to grow your profile, such as sending connection requests and by writing and publishing on the platform. So don't overthink it. And do check out the rest of my playlist 